Blue Heeler, also known as Australian Cattle Dog, is a herding dog that was traditionally used indeed in Australia. These dogs are smart, loyal, and athletic, which makes them perfect for families with an active lifestyle. With that said, this breed is definitely not for everyone. So if you're considering if this is the right dog breed for you, make sure to watch until the end because for today, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a blue healer. Blue healers have blue patterned short coats, upright ears, and eyes that exhibit alertness. They were originally used to drive cattle along by nipping at their heels, and for this reason, these dogs thrive in a home where they are given a job to do. Towards their family, Blue Healer is an affectionate dog with a healthy and long lifespan. Later on, we'll get to know more about these clever dogs. Hey there and welcome to Smart Dog Lover! If you're new to our channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button so you'll be updated to our dog-related videos. Today, I'll share with you the 8 reasons why the Blue Healer may not be for you. So if you're ready, let's start! Number 1. Do not get a Blue Healer if you cannot give them plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. Strong, hardworking, intelligent, and quite stubborn, Blue Healer is definitely not for everyone. They need plenty of physical and mental stimulation to prevent boredom. Giving them an assignment or task will surely make them happy dogs. If you're into dog sports, these hardworking canines also do well in obedience, agility, and other challenging sports. At home, it is essential to provide them with a variety of toys, such as chew toys and puzzle games, to keep them entertained even when they're inside the house. Therefore, if you're considering an Australian cattle dog, make sure that you can provide them an outlet to release his energy. Otherwise, they may develop destructive behaviors such as excessive barking, chewing, digging, scratching, and hurting as a way to burn off his energy. With that said, this breed is best suited to homes where there is a space for them to release their energy, such as a yard, a farm, or a ranch. Keep in mind that these dogs were bred to herd and they may chase and hunt small animals that caught their attention, sometimes even cars. For this reason, it is important that your yard or farm is securely fenced so there's no way for them to escape. If you live in an apartment or a place with very limited space, then you might have a hard time meeting these dogs' exercise needs. Number 2. Do not get a blue healer if you cannot handle their temperament. Since they were originally bred to herd cattle, blue healers tend to bite and nip at children other animals, and basically anything or anyone that moves. This can be a huge problem once they are fully mature, so it is important to socialize and train them while they are still young to ensure that they grow to be well-rounded dogs. Towards their family, blue healers make superb guard dogs. Loyal and obedient, these dogs are sure to protect you and your property from any danger. However, because of their strong protective instincts, blue healers can be suspicious and aloof towards your visitors. Number 3. Do not get a blue healer if you cannot provide them with training. While blue healers are always among the most intelligent dog breeds, they also tend to be hard-headed, which makes training a challenge. They are less compliant compared to other dog breeds, which is why respect is very important in order for them to listen to you. But how do you earn their respect? To start, you have to let them know that you're the leader of the household by being firm with your words. If they outsmart you once or if you easily give in to their requests, they may see you as a weak leader which will reinforce their stubbornness. Aside from being a strong leader, you also need to be firm, patient, and creative with the training. Keep them focused by making training sessions entertaining. Keep in mind that these dogs learn quickly, so repetition makes them bored. Of course, being a firm leader does not mean that you have to hurt your dog in any way. Never shout at or hit your dog as it will only lead them to being shy or aggressive. 
Instead, use positive reinforcement techniques, such as giving them treats, praises, and plenty of playtime after every successful training session or when they have done something that pleases you. Number 4. Do not get a blue healer if you don't have time to groom them. The good thing is that blue healers require very little grooming. So, if you think you cannot dedicate time to groom them, then you have to think again about getting a dog at all, since other dog breeds require more grooming than these pups. Most owners describe blue healers as wash and wear dogs because of how easy it is to groom them. These dogs will need brushing every two to three weeks to keep their fur in its best condition. However, they do blow their coats twice a year, which means that you'll need to brush them more often during these times. Bathe them only when necessary, such as when they rolled into something stinky. Cut their nails every two weeks or so, and check their eyes regularly to remove wax and debris that may cause infection. And we're already halfway through this video. So far, do you think you can properly raise a blue healer? Let us know your thoughts later on because, for now, we have a few more things to talk about these loyal dogs. So without further ado, let's continue. Number 5. Blue healers are best suited for homes with older children. It is true that a properly raised blue healer can be a good family dog. However, they do best for families with older children who already know how to play with them safely. They can be mouthy and may nip and bite, especially towards toddlers who are rough in handling them. Their herding behavior may also be triggered towards children that squeals while playing, so make sure to supervise their interaction with children at all times. To help reduce their tendency to herd, make sure that they are well socialized. On a positive note, these dogs have high levels of energy that can match those of children. In fact, they are more than happy to play with children all day long. Number 6. Blue healers can be dominant towards other dogs. Another reason why blue healer might not be for you is the fact that they can be dominant with other dogs. It can be hard for these dogs to live with other pets, including cats unless they are raised together. Outdoors, it is important that they are kept on leash just to make sure that they won't get into any trouble with other animals. Number 7. It is recommended to not get a blue healer if you're an apartment dweller. If you live in an apartment and would want a blue healer, you need to think again. These dogs won't be satisfied on a 30-minute walk. It's worse if they are confined in a small space all day long while waiting for their owners. Instead, blue healers thrive in a large home where there is enough wide open spaces for them to run and release their energies. And after a long day outside, they are ready to crash with you on the couch. Number 8. Do not get a blue healer if you're afraid of a long time commitment. Owning a dog, in general, is a serious responsibility. Some people realized this too late, which is why there are dogs who ended up in shelters. We don't want this to happen to you, nor any dog, so even before completely deciding to have one, it is important for you to know what lies ahead. On average, blue healers have a lifespan of 13 to 15 years, However, during those years, they may suffer from certain health conditions such as progressive retinal atrophy, hip dysplasia, and deafness. Therefore, regular veterinary checkups about once or twice a year is essential to ensure they have a healthy and long life. Overall, blue healers are perfect for families with large homes and active lifestyles. So long as their needs are met, these dogs will bring smiles and laughter to everyone in the household. Not to mention that they are also good protectors of everyone they consider as part of their pack. And that wraps up our video for today. After watching the entire video, what do you think of the blue healer? Do you think you're capable of raising one? Feel free to comment down your thoughts below. As always, if you enjoy today's content, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. 
To be notified when we upload new videos, just click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.